Hello, everybody. And welcome back to my summer ca <laughs> car. In today's episode, we're going to be exploring uh, Topless Gun's new update to the game. He's brought in poker. <laughs> Another, actually, blackjack specifically. Another way to gamble away your money and or make some money. It's very work in progress, he says, and it's no big bets enabled in the current moment. So maybe later down the line, we can seriously uh, lay down some serious money. On a side note, I switched up the skin a little bit, very little bit. I got to be honest, I don't really like it. Uh, the interior looks better now. I actually changed up the skin previously, but... I didn't like it. I didn't like the interior color. There was no texture. There was no unification. There wasn't anything. So I changed it again for the third time. I'm still liking the red wheels. I'm gonna think I'm gonna switch these black ones for white ones. See how that turns. See how that looks. You know, one of the things I missed in the dynamite episode is how to see how. Ooh, moonshine. Yeah, that's another thing I kind of want to mess with in this episode. See if we can make a better uh, thing of moonshine as well. I never, I never tested out exploding the Satsuma. So I'm sorry Satsuma, this is all just really a bad dream at this point, but I'm going to take this stick of dynamite, light it, and throw it your direction. You are my bestest friend ever, but it's, this is for science. Okay, that looked pretty violent. That even knocked over the bus, the bus stop. Of course the gas tank came out, uh, the exhaust. If anything, we're going to find out what actually can be removed forcibly with the Satsuma as far as a part is concerned. We all kind of, we kind of, know. Oh, actually, that's not necessarily true because we got this thing sent through the void and ripped apart and it, all it really lost was the, the seat at one point. It actually doesn't lose the suspension. Oddly enough, it does not, that's so weird it doesn't lose the suspension. But yeah, basically every other body part, it loses. Oh, that never gets old. Try and stop me, coppers! Actually, I'm just kidding. I, I kid, I kid. I'm gonna stop right now. Just please, I beg of you, don't kill me. Don't hit my car either. You shouldn't. It looks like he just stopped right in the middle. I should probably just not, but... What is he doing? Okay, he's probably not gonna ram me at this point. Hello, officers. I would like to take my ticket. They're clearly confused, so let me just correct their procedures. Okay, well, they clearly don't want me to correct their procedures. One for you, one for Hello. you, and a few more for you. I swear, it's like they know what I'm doing. Oh, would you look who who it is? Hold, hold the phone. No, no, no. Hold the phone. Hold my dynamite. I'll be right. I got it. Ooh, that was close. Oh, I left a. I forgot. I left a uh, police officer man. Quickly, quickly. Open, open, open. He's gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna do a U-turn. Okay. So if we place dynamite right here, as soon as he starts moving, he should run right over it. And we'll detonate it. Probably wasn't the best idea to leave the Satsuma parked in the middle of the road. But I have faith. Actually, I'm pretty sure he's going to go the opposite direction. Okay, I just hit F by accident. Could you please hold that? Oh, the son of a bitch. I will get you one day, my friend. I will get you. Now there's just a bunch of dynamite in the middle of the road. I wonder how we're going to get rid of that. I wonder... What happens if a car runs over dynamite? It should be unstable enough. This door is completely broken, by the way. I don't know why it's broken, but it's broken. I hate you. Granted, that was my fault and... Um... Well, I get to fix their, uh... Procedures now. Here you go, guys. I got your procedure fix right here. 
Procedure fix inbound. Ooh. Nice line of dynamite there. Alley -oop. Okay, I was very unimpressed with that. Time to quadruple the amount of dynamite used. No, no, you don't get to you don't get to run away. There you go. Take that dynamite. This should Oh, god dang it. What is wrong with these people? Is that ever going to explode? Um I don't Okay, I'm a little scared now. I'm just going to take a very very wide berth of the dynamite. Now I know duds are a thing, but like four or five duds? Making moonshine probably is not going to happen in this episode considering the fact that I don't even have any more kill you uh, brewing and that takes probably like four in-game days I believe. So when you get out a box of dynamite from your car to put on your muffler again, that probably means you're spending too much time blowing people up. <laughs> Just a possibility. Yeah, so making uh, making moonshine price not gonna happen or a good source of moonshine because that's gonna take like several in-game days just to really kill you and then probably another day or so to actually do the that's probably gonna take another day and a half to brew the kill you, uh, brew the uh, moonshine itself Hold on, I really, 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 really have to correct their procedures now. That's not, that's, that's not enough. Needs to be more punishment. Enough dynamite to, to where the computer, my computer's running about 20 frames per second. That's a bit more satisfying. So I'm going to need a little bit of supplies for the kill you on the island. A few things of sugar, yeast, and uh, well, I mean, we're not going to be able to do it in this episode, but it's I, at least we can get started on it. And home sweet home I am. Home away from home I guess I am. Oh, you know what I didn't bring? I didn't bring the dynamite. How else am I going to keep myself busy? Oh, we're not going to be here long. The home away from home. The home I spent a fair few hours on uh, in the last episode of Lostness. So if the temperature gets above 80 Celsius, I believe empty out. There you go. I believe you've basically burned off all the ethanol you can in there. And it's just basically you're boiling water at this point. So let's dump this junk out and we'll put that there. We'll be brewing that a little bit later after this batch of kill you gets done. And apparently, uh, as far as what I, what I saw that was left... Or what we got out of the moonshine before it reached 80, 80 degrees Celsius wasn't very much. I don't know if one batch can even get you a whole batch of uh, moonshine. But I guess I'm just going to have to find out when I do it properly for the second time. Alright, Kill You is a Bruin. The sun is arising at the new day. A beautiful Monday morning. Uh, the, play, the blackjack place is just over there. You can see it just barely. You know, we could boat over there, but I do want to just drive on over there. Wait, where the heck is my dynamite? Seriously, it's not in my car. I must have forgotten to pick it up when I came back in the game. It must be... It's got to be near uh, Tamos' shop. So one of the things I want to do today... Yep, here it is. Brilliant. So one of the things I want to do today also is change the final drive gear of the Satsuma. Uh, so we can get a better top speed. I've been told and now I've found out that I can't actually get the 200 kilometers achievement. But it doesn't mean we can't get 200 kilometers, which is, a, a, I guess, around zero. <laughs> oh my gosh, that never gets old. So yeah, I do want to drop off the Satsuma to a uh, Fatelli guy, man, friendo. Wait, is this the correct... Dirt road. I think this is the rally road, right? Very easy. Very easy. You remember the last time. Oh 
Oh god! Oh, for fuck's sake, man. <laughs> he scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Hopefully that was just the... Wow. Okay. Well, you're lucky I didn't get to my dynamite in time. Oh, I forgot my dynamite again. Damn it. Was it... Did I just only lose my exhaust? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. But okay, just lost the muffler, it seems. Oh, here's the my phone. I thought I lost this ages ago, but it's in the vehicle. Where's my tool set? Oh, it's over here. Can't for, can't lose this, that's for sure. Yeah, I thought I lost that phone ages ago. That's a good... I, I just... <sighs> All right, I found the turn. It's just past the barn with the wreck in it. So we turn right here. This has got to be... I don't ever remember seeing this. He did say this is a very work-in-progress area. I don't believe this dirt road was ever here. But here are the two buildings that we saw. And I'm assuming that because it's connected to the water, there is up here as well. Yep, here it is. Hit the brakes. There we go. Show off the car. Let's check out the new area. It looks like we got a old, bro uh, torn down building with just the chimney left. This must have been like a pizza place or whatever. This looks like a, uh, a brick oven for a pizza. Here's the dock. Oh, a nice little dock here. Got little handrails and this is, where you, this is where you pull up in your boat. And here is the Piesta de Resistance. The Blackjack Casino, I guess. Hello? Ooh, fancy. Isn't there some supposed? Isn't there supposed to be somebody in here? Uh, am I too late? Too early? I'm confused. All right. It seems that he is. He, oh Jesus! It seems he is not. Um, I don't think anything broke off there. That was fantastic. It seems like he is not there. I guess he's a shady uh, blackjack player and he only shows up at night. I don't know. Night seems like a pretty good time to uh, play a little bit of cards. How am I going to get out of here? I'm going to be very, very careful here because we all remember what happened last time. Oh, easy. Last time I ended up in a field and was driving around. We should be able to get up right here. And that's a big negative. Yep, definitely a big negative. Yep, so I'm gonna come back at night at a later date and see, or not at a later date, tonight, and see if he shows up. Uh, another thing that Topless Gun, oh my goodness, I got it. Hold on, I gotta get out of here. Look both ways this time, yes. I have looked both ways. Hopefully we don't get creamed by the little green man. <laughs> <laughs> so, Top of the Gun also updated the tractor a little bit. I guess in the first patch there were some bug fixes with the tractor, and now in this patch, he's increased the tractor power and changed the brakes as well. And then he obviously he put in the the blackjack guy. So those are the two two things in this update. So we might as well head into town. I'm probably just gonna drop off the Satsuma after this. You know, just pass a little bit of time, go drop off, the, drop off the Satsuma and come back later tonight. There we go. What did I come here for? Oh yeah, to test out the tractor. And those two uh, doofuses over there would probably be fantastic test subjects. Oh man, it's been a while since I've been in here. I, you know what? There should be more uses for the tractor. The tractor doesn't get no love, man. Well, until, I guess, in this update, it does get a little bit of love. Test out the new top speed of this thing. I mean, I don't know if there's a new top speed. Oh, well, there's just a dude walking there. I didn't even see that guy. But there was an update in the power. I don't know. It's been a really long time. I doubt I'll even notice the, uh, the power update. Still only three years. I don't know, this seems... <laughs> I don't know. Is this faster? I really don't know. Can't tell. He also changed the brakes, so... Brakes? Why can't he not run over that man? He also changed the brakes, brakes! You can't run him over either? It's really sad. Uh, these brakes seem just terrible. Like they should be on a tractor. Again, something I can't really tell the difference. In just by driving this because I've very rarely ever driven this 
You know, I never even delivered a load of firewood. Not like it's absolutely necessary to use the tractor, but it's something that you probably would want to use the tractor for because, I don't know, to pull out the, the trailer to the main road before you'd hook it up to the, the sewage truck. Like, I mean, like I said, this tractor doesn't get enough love. There's really nothing, <laughs> nothing good to do with it except for mess with these guys. It's really a lot more fun to kind of do this to these guys than mess with it. Uh, to mess, then mess with them with the tractor. There you go, just like that. And I'll take my dynamite and go. Kaboomy. Let's see how this affects the tractor. The tractor probably weighs a lot, so it probably weighs a lot. God, that is so awesome. <laughs> I love this mod. Hello, good sir. Have I tried to blow you up? I'm pretty sure I tried to blow you up in the in the first episode, but you know what? We might as well give it the good old college try again. Yep, very boring. How about the bus? We never got to throw dynamite at the bus. Here, let's throw dynamite at the bus. Let's throw a lot of dynamite at the bus. What is with me in, in, oh no. Oh, oh no, oh no. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh god. I'm sorry, dynamite. Hopefully nothing happens to the box of dynamite when you let dynamite go off next to the box of dynamite. Okay, apparently, oh god, here we go. I gotta walk, I gotta walk to the, next to the duds and retrieve my thing? Man, how's come everything goes wrong when I try to, uh, this is scary, uh, when I try to blow up the bus. I don't know if the bus driver can even die, I highly doubt it, but, gosh dang it, I wanna try. Okay, let's close that up because it's a, who is dangerous to have just an open box of dynamite in your car. What that? Oh, that's my bumper in the middle of the road. I gotta go back for that at a later date. Yeah, so I'm gonna go drop this off at Fatelli's shop. And I believe the sewage truck is still there. I believe that's where I last left it as well. I did not get another case of beer, which hopefully I'll find a case of beer alongside the road. Something tells me I'm not gonna have a hard time doing that. But yeah, we're gonna drop this off at the shop and change the gear ratio so I can get a higher top speed. Then like one, probably like 165, 170 is kind of like what we're getting right now. Oh, beautiful. The sewage truck is still here and I'm pretty sure he is in fact open and ready for business so we can get this done. Maybe, hopefully. He is fantastic. And now we get to listen to him yell at me for 20 minutes. Go away. We are going to change the gear ratio to 3.7 and I'm going to have him check and repair the brake system because why not? And I'm really curious if, uh, if the brakes have any wear to them. I don't know if they necessarily do. I'm just, excuse me, why I walk away from that loud mouth in there. At, at least that's something we can't buy because I don't think, I'm going to have to test this out in the future or you guys just let me know. If you remove a brake... Uh, can you purchase a new one in here or is it just with the man himself? Okay, well, I'm definitely taking the dynamite with me. I'm also taking Oh, well, the battery can stay Well, the batteries under the car now the mobile phone sure why not and The tools can stay and I didn't pick up a case of beer as well. Also, also forgot that one Well, the fuel gauge being on zero is not ideal. <laughs> I remember, if you remember vividly, last time I said when I dropped this off, it's dangerously low on fuel. And yeah, well, it's kind of dangerously low on fuel. I'll be really sad if this doesn't make it. Because otherwise, I'm walking. Yep, there it goes. Out of fuel. Come on. Come on, little engine. You can do it. All right, well, this is fantastic. Here, let me just take, let me just get back to home. All right, so you guys get to watch me painfully drag the sewage truck with the van back with the van. I've done this once before, and it was not fun, and that's why I switched to the tractor to do it. But uh, let's see if we can get it done with the the van itself. All right, so rescuing the shit truck is just gonna have to wait uh, until the game stops 
dropping me through the world there because apparently that's what it wants me it wants to constantly do. I guess that it has something to do with something broke with the collision with the road. Ooh, easy. Something broke with the collision in the road there when I killed myself uh, getting ran over by a car or something. So until next restart, I uh, won't be able to do that. So we can possibly just check out this poker game with the van is just fine. All right, knock knock. I'm home. Hopefully you better be home. It's nighttime. Oh, I see. There's light in here. Ooh, there he is. He looks funny. <laughs> oh man, I love the specs, my friend. They fit you very nice. <laughs> oh, his eyes. Oh, shut the door. Let's get a little bit of privacy. Look at his. Look at this little place, huh? Too bad that's not a place to sleep. That'd be pretty cool. Let's sit down and uh, play a little bit of poker. Okay, like Topless Gun said, he's very work in progress. There's no big betting. The the top bet is only 250. He doesn't have any lines of dialogue. He does have some awesome glasses. Look at him staring at my cards. Yeah, I'm gonna stand, my friend. You, my you, on the other hand, wait. I'm sorry. What? This says 20. So yeah, this is very work in progress. Um, that uh. <laughs> That's definitely 18, but okay, I'll take it. So I'll stand at 20. Uh, wait, is this... Okay, so he says the card game is derivative from Blackjack, better known as Venti in Finland. I'm assuming it's the same Blackjack rules, which is 21 what you, is what you're aiming for. And uh, he's just taking all the aces. Okay, I win. Right? No, I lost. Fitu. It's getting really dark around here really quick okay let's see 15 I will hit at 15 all oh, great the cuckoos are out all right Malota. Malota. I busted again this isn't going well for me okay I like it I like it what you got over there dealer okay I will hit 13 hit 17 yeah I'll stand I'll I'll stand how do I stand stand there we go Okay, well that was <laughs> I, I, I he he had twenty He had twenty Queen 10 20 and I win at 17 okay uh, clearly this is very work in progress or this is just blackjack I've never played but this is too annoying to play anymore because this cuckoo is gonna holy cow it's dark You know, I really do not remember how unsafe vehicles were back in 1995. Because apparently, back in 1995, if you hit a tree at 4 miles an hour, you were dead. Can I please go into reverse? Oh, I'm in reverse. There we go. Get a little bit of slack there. Drop neutral and first. And we'll hopefully drag this thing all the way. Hold on, it might be in gear. <laughs> All right, this time, let's go, my friend. Come on, I got gotcha. you. You're safe with me. Man, look at us go. All right, we are officially underway. I just gotta keep this kind of on the road. I can't let it hit, get the get into the ditch. So basic, yeah. This is why I gave up and used the tractor previously. How did... How, oh... How did... Oh... How did I not die there? Holy crap, man. That scared me so much. Good old Forky here never lets us down. Saves the days because of my own stupid stupidity. Oh man, this thing is a dream boat, man. Maybe this, uh, oh, easy there, killer. I probably could have gotten the rope a little tighter, but I was kind of, you know what? I think I'm going to stop and get the rope a little tighter because, well, shit like that happens. Alright, 
this has got to get back uh, before I actually, you know what, even if I die before the Jonas gets back to the house, it should be perfectly fine. Because if I die, I spawn outside the house, therefore I wouldn't be locked back in the house. But this is a very important member of the team, so it's got to get back as soon as possible. So let's get this. Is it connected to the thing still? It is not connected to the thing still. Holy cow, is this going swimmingly, man. Here comes the turn. I'm actually going to top out second gear. That's okay. We'll stay in second. She's pushing me. So let's see if we can make this turn very safely. Holy cow, we made the turn. All right, let's get back into low first gear. Actually, low first gear might have been a little too low. Low second. Beautiful. We can get out of second and go into normal. Look at this. Good old Forky. Coming to save the day. You know, other than getting ran over by my own sewage truck it actually went per pretty swimmingly here you go good sir this shouldn't really affect my sewage truck all that much thank you for nearly killing me uh, last time we met there you go it's so much quieter now so yeah that actually wasn't that bad other than being killed by the van a couple times and the tractor a couple times and this guy nearly once. I need to get that Jonas back to the house ASAP. It actually went pretty swimmingly running out of fuel this time. When I ran out of fuel back at the house, that was a different story. That was an utter nightmare that took a really long time. But that's where I'm going to have to leave this one, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to remember to leave a like, subscribe, all the good stuff you guys do. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.